Hello, my name is Dr. Amged Macarius. I'm the chairman of cardiology at New Health, Nassau University Medical Center, part of the regionalized cardiac care services of the North Shore LIJ Health System. I'd like to share with you today a study that we performed at North Shore University Hospital titled Echocardiographic Predictors of Ventricular Tachycardia. Now the background for the study really arose from the fact that we all know that the ejection fraction is a commonly derived criteria which we obtain from the transthoracic echocardiogram in order to predict and find patients who would be eligible uh, for ICD implant and are therefore at risk for sudden cardiac death. We sought to examine and see whether further easily quantifiable parameters from the transthoracic echocardiogram may be uh, as good predictors or even better predictors for predicting sudden cardiac death after uh, ICD discharge uh, in these patients. So this uh, was done by looking at 586 patients with um, a mean follow-up of about uh, 11 months. There were 469 males in the study with a mean age of 68 years. And we looked at easily quantifiable echo parameters, such as the left ventricular internal diastolic dimension, the left ventricular internal systolic dimension, relative wall thickness, um, left atrial size, all very easily quantifiable parameters that are commonly obtained from a transthoracic echocardiogram. And what we found is, in summary, our results showed that the echocardiographic parameter associated with first VT noted by ICD discharge in these patients who had uh, defibrillators implanted was a left ventricular internal systolic dimension greater than four centimeters. And this was statistically significant between the two groups. So this criteria showed that people who had a left ventricular internal systolic dimension greater than four centimeters were actually two and a half times more likely to have an episode of ventricular tachycardia, again noted through ICD discharge. So what we conclude from this is that even though our study showed that only one parameter, the left ventricular and systolic dimension, shows um, a good predictive value for actual ICD discharge and therefore risk for sudden cardiac death, that further easily obtainable criteria from the transthoracic echocardiogram may actually be useful in predicting patients at risk for sudden cardiac death and therefore who may qualify for an ICD. And our study really was meant to serve as an impetus for further wide-scale clinical trials that would examine um, systematically uh, further easily quantifiable criteria from the transthoracic echocardiogram to help predict patients at risk for sudden cardiac death and therefore for ICD implant. Thank you.